If you're doing Amazon arbitrage, you're trying to generate cash, one of the most challenging parts is you're out there shopping or you're online looking at products and you want to know, will this product make me money? Today I'm going to show you exactly how to know if a product will make you money on Amazon. Hey Warriors, this is Seth Kniep, Keeping It Real. Amazon arbitrage is amazing because it allows you to generate cash quickly with a small amount of cash and you can grow that quickly and then take that, turn it into a private label business and grow your passive income so you have margin to do the things you love with the people you love. Today I'm going to show you how to know if a product can make you money. There are eight steps and I'm going to walk you through exactly what each of these is. Halfway through this video, I'm going to introduce you to a tool one of the most powerful tools you can use for Amazon arbitrage for really understanding a product's potential. It'll save you a ton of time and it'll de-risk you like crazy. Step number one to know if a product's going to make you money. Make sure your product is in one of the money making categories. Now there's a lot of freedom in selling in various categories as long as they're not gated or the brand's not gated. But there are certain categories that are more powerful than others. Number one, toys. Number two, home and kitchen. Number three, sports and outdoors. Number four, sporting goods and equipment. Number five, baby and nursery items. Number six, books. Number seven, clothing and shoes. And number eight, handbags. I feel like I'm on a TV show or something. These categories are one of the most highly recommended by Just One Dime coaches because they can generate you cash quickly and people love to buy them. And they're generally easy to find products in stores in these categories that have a strong profit margin. Other categories, it's gonna be a lot more difficult. Number two, make sure the BSR of your product is low enough so that it sells quickly. You don't wanna buy a product that's gonna sit there for six months. So you spent $200 on multiple of a product and you're waiting six months to make the cash back. That freezes cash and makes it hard for you to run your business. Anything from zero to 25,000 BSR is absolutely incredible. Buy it. As long as the profit margin is there, which I'll talk about in a second, you need to buy it. Let me show you an example of how to find the BSR. If you're here in this product, I just do Command F and I type in sellers, hit it once and there it is. You can do Control F if you're on a PC, Command F if you're on a Mac. And right there I can see the BSR is 32,344. Now, anything from zero to 25,000 is incredible. Anything from 25,000 to 50,000 is still strong. Very good. So in this case, yes, I recommend you buy it if the profit is strong. However, if the BSR is anywhere from 50,000 to 100,000, you need to do some research. And there's other criteria I'm gonna take you through to make sure it has a lot of potential to sell. Anything from 100,000 to 250,000, you need to do a lot of research first and one of the main criteria is make sure it's in the top one or 2% of its category for BSR. If you don't know how to do that, I'll show you in a second. This is really important because the higher the BSR number, the slower it's gonna sell, the longer it's gonna take for it to get off the shelf and ship out and you make your money back. Now, there is a strategy you can use in Amazon Arbitrage. We have some products that you're not gonna get your money back on for four or five months and you're okay with that because when you do get your money back, they're 20, 30, $40 a pop and the margins are over 60%. And you have enough capital where you can afford that. You're gonna buy it now, you're gonna let it sit, and you're gonna wait, and eventually it's gonna turn, but you have other products that are turning much faster, generating cash, so you can keep growing this business. That's a strategy that's very effective. But if you're starting out, you don't want products that are gonna sell four or five months from now. What are you gonna do, send them all in and just wait? Well, that was fun. Let's wait for the business to start for you know a quarter of a year. That's not gonna work. You need products that have a better BSR. If the product is between zero and 100,000, as a general rule of thumb, it's gonna sell within a month. So 100,000 and below is a pretty good marker. 25,000 below is amazing. 50,000 and below is still really good. Might require just a little bit of research. Now, anything above 250,000, I'm not even going to sneeze at, forget it. It's just gonna go too slow and it is not worth my time and money. Number three, make sure the product is not restricted or gated. This is very easy to do. All you do is you click sell yours when you find one on Amazon and it'll tell you whether or not it's gated. Or on the seller app, if you're logged into your seller central account, it shows you whether or not it's gated immediately. It's right there on the seller app. I'll show you an example right here from my phone. There it is, I pull it up and let's see. This is the one, click on it. You cannot sell this product in new condition. Why? Because it's Playmobil brand. See that? 
right there you can see it is a restricted product. It shows me on my application immediately, which is awesome. Now, let me just show you a few examples of restricted products. You can see right here, products that require approval, laser pointers, Amazon frustration-free packaging, hoverboards because one caught on fire and it was a big disaster and became a huge issue. Then you got restricted product types and then ones that re require approval down here. You can see all these different categories. I will tell you guys, this list, it used to be longer. So be encouraged. This list was much longer even just several months ago. Number four, make sure you're in the top one or 2% for that product category. This really can help, especially if you found a product in the BSR is somewhere around 50,000 up to 100,000. Being in the top one or 2% category can de-risk you a lot. What does that mean? Well, BSR, understand, is just a number. And the lower the number is, the faster it's gonna sell. If you're number one, you're the fastest selling product. Its sales velocity, its speed, how often it sells, is the greatest. The greater the number, the slower it sells. Well, obviously, in every category, BSR is gonna be different. So, for example, if you have 50,000 BSR in sporting goods compared to 50,000 BSR in crafts, there's a huge difference between the two because sporting goods has so many more products than crafts. Therefore, 50,000 in BSR in sporting goods means it's selling much faster than 50,000 in crafts. Let me show you an example. Now I'm gonna introduce to you this tool that is simply awesome. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. Kind of wish I was though. It's called RevSeller. It's very cool. A little video you can watch, download the extension. You can do it up here in Chrome. You see I have mine right here. So for example, if I'm right here, I can see quickly just by pulling it up in amazon.com. All I had to do is pull it up. And as you can see, the ranking is 32,000. I can see that immediately. I don't have to do the command F, type in sellers, hit it twice and go down here. It's right there to show me. Now notice guys, right here you can see the little green box. It says top 0.52%. This toy is in the top 0.52% for its category of toys and games. That's really high. And 32,000 obviously is a really good ranking, but if this number was like 65,000, I wanna know is this still in the top one to 2%. That means it's gonna sell fast. Number five, see how many other sellers are selling on that listing. If you're selling an FBM, which means you're shipping it out, then look at the other FBM sellers. If you're selling FBA, look at the other FBA sellers. Now, I highly recommend you do FBA because that means it doesn't matter where you are in the world, you can always sell on Amazon doing arbitrage. You don't have to be in the same country that you're selling. You just get a third party sourcing service to send it in for you, a prep center, and that way you never even have to leave your keyboard. You do it all from your keyboard. Guys, you can sit here at your computer and make millions if you do it right. And you can do this doing Amazon arbitrage. We have people on our team who are doing several thousand a day in arbitrage, several thousand a day. Others who just started and they're doing several hundred a day, you can do the same. We actually have a whole course on this. Now here's how you do this. You can just go down here and look at other sellers on Amazon. Right here on the right side, you can see there are 12 used and new, or you can also look from this perspective here. Specifically for FBA, there are only two offers. That's a good sign. There are only two competitors right now who are selling this item. And by clicking on that, it immediately pulls them up and here they are. One is Amazon ha, and the other is Amazon. Treat them just like you would another competitor. Do not get intimidated by Amazon. Number six, understand what seasons your product sells better. This is very easy to do using various tools to see what the price is over a period of time and how often it's selling over a period of time. Let me show you an example. I can use Keepa, which is an awesome little tool here, to see the price history. And as I scroll through, you can see right here around December, it was selling for around 20 bucks and it's continued to all the way up to the present, but then it just recently dropped in March. But if I go back here, the price was $14. See that? $19 and then boom, that down, back down to $14 again. What does that mean? That means the price history is telling me the margins may not be as strong as I hope. The only time it sold for around $20 was from de December through February. So if I was to source this product right now, and let's say it cost me $3 and I hit enter. See right here, guys, Merchant Fulfilled Network, but this is fulfilled by Amazon. This is if you're shipping it out, this is if Amazon's shipping it out. Right here, you can see my margin would be 36% if I'm selling it for $3. I would make $5.79 after paying all the Amazon fees and paying whatever store I buy it from. So that gives you an idea of, okay, so if this is selling for this much, I'm gonna make $5.79. Well, that's why this price history matters. It tells me the stability of the market. It's not gonna make me as much money as I hoped. 
It's a little bit of money, but not great. But if this right here had been higher, I would have a lot more confidence that year round, I could do really good selling this product. But last year, look at this, it was still selling around $14, so I shouldn't expect a whole lot more. Also notice it says needs approval. This is what's so cool about this tool called RevSeller. It immediately tells me if I need approval based on my account. If I go to another product, you can see I do not need approval. That's why it's green, it says sell yours new. And in this situation, you can see a higher BSR, but it's still in the top 0.20%. So this is really, really good. If I can source this product for five bucks and I hit enter, I can make $24.08 off of every single sale. Point number seven is really similar to point number six. Understand the seasons in which your product tends to sell. If you look in December, it tends to sell really, really well, but then it goes way down in March. You need to consider, can I still make a profit over the springtime? Number eight, the last but not the least, make sure you have at least 33% margin. Now you can calculate this quickly by dividing your, mar your profit by what you are selling it for. However, what I recommend you do is use RevSeller so you can see it immediately. When you're going in bulk, you can do this really fast. Watch. Right here, see if I, let's just say I can get this product for three bucks. I'm sure my wife could find it somewhere easily. She's so good at this. Three dollars. Now you can see I'm gonna make $26 per sale if I'm selling it at 45. Now check this out. There's only one FBA offer, only one seller selling it. That means there's little competition. I can go and drop my price a little bit and beat them at it. I can also use the 999 rule to find out how much they have in inventory if they haven't restricted that from, from me seeing it to see if they're gonna run out soon, which is also a huge advantage too. My margin is 58%. Here's the idea. If you are selling a product for $30, you want to buy it for 10, no more, because $10 will go to Amazon, $10 goes to Target or Kohl's or wherever you bought it from, and you get 10 you get a third of that product. Guys, there's a link below I included for you. It's called the Arbitrage Sales Per Day Guide. What it does is it allows you to look at the BSR and get a very close to accurate approximate of how many times a day that product is selling based on the BSR. So you can say, look, if, if this product is selling you know, 30 times a day and I buy it, and I'm one of the FBA sellers and I drop my price below everyone else and still make over 33%, I'm gonna sell it fast. Why not buy 40 of these, see, instead of buying five? It gives you a guidance on how many you should buy so you can make your money. Also, our course is open for arbitrage students. If you are looking for a step-by-step -step course with hundreds of hours of coaching and teaching, as well as full-on workshops and screenshots showing you where to go, and anytime you have a question, you ask it on the community group and people help you, and we have a bunch of assistants in there as well to help you out, join our course and we can help you crush on Amazon. You guys have an awesome day. I hope this has been super encouraging to you as you're out there making money, crushing it. Take care, bye.